Hey everyone, it's your girl Taylor and welcome back to another Traveling with Taylor vlog. This is just a mini vlog of when my family and I took a weekend trip to Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. It's home to 70 rides and has something for everyone. I've been to Cedar Point a couple of times and always had fun. So for our trip, we stayed at Hotel Breakers at Cedar Point. It's a classic beachfront resort. It features suites with many featuring waterfront views and balconies. Really nice benefits of staying at a Cedar Point resort includes early entry, which gives you admission one hour before the park opens, free fountain drinks at Cedar Point, and free parking. Since we were here for the weekend, we stayed in this two bed hotel room. Once we got settled, we were ready to go eat at Tomohibachi, but I made all of us take shots first because why not? I like to have a good time anytime, anywhere. And Tomohibachi is located inside Hotel Breakers, which is very convenient. After Hibachi, we chilled on the beach and then we relaxed for a while at the fire pits that kept us warm throughout the evening. While mom and my sister went back to the room, I decided to check out the surf lounge and have me a drink before the night ended. Okay, you guys, so we are on our way inside the park. Um, because we're staying at Hotel Breakers, which is inside the park, we get in one hour early before the park officially opens. So we are on our way to go ride some rides and have some fun before everybody else starts pouring in. Okay, you hey guys, y so we are about to get on the Millennium Force. That's second time. Yes, you ready, Cam? I am ready. Yes. I'm going to try to hold my hands up this time. Yes, we are. Even though our bodies are sore, we're going to have some fun and turn up. Yes. <laughs> okay, y'all, we're about to get on. You ready? Ready? Yeah, we're about to get on. Hey guys, Okay, you guys, so we just broke the Millennium Force in. It actually wasn't so bad the second time. It wasn't too bad. Um, I think because we knew what we were getting ourselves yeah, into. We hands up. Hands up. Yeah. Eyes was open the whole time, and we conquered it, so. Yes. <laughs> so after walking around the park and riding some rides, it was time to eat for lunch, and Cedar Point had multiple options. We first wanted to eat at Chick-fil-A, but the line was out the door. I like me some Chick-fil-A, but not all like that. Then we stopped at Johnny Rockets, but they had a long wait as well. So then we wanted to eat at Chicky and Pete's. And when we sat down at the table, they talking about they ain't got no bone in chicken wings. How can they be out of chicken? It's Colonel's Fried Chicken. This is outrageous. This is an outrage. Hello, my emergency. These fools done ran out of chicken. Welcome to Colonel's Fried Chicken. Unfortunately, they are. <laughs> Like, girl, what? So we walked out of there real quick because we is not going to eat no chicken nuggets, okay? <laughs> so we ended up eating a walking taco instead, which was pretty good because, like, how you a chicken place and ain't got no chicken wings, okay? Like, that don't make no sense. And bad news to all of my roller coaster enthusiasts. After being shut down for more than a year, when a bolt fell off the coaster, seriously injuring a woman, Cedar Point announced that its most iconic coaster, the Top Thrill Dragster, is being retired after nearly 20 seasons. The amusement park went on to say, our team is at hard work, creating a new and reimagined ride experience. RIP Top Thrill Dragster. What is also new to Cedar Point is that they have moved to all cashless payments at the park. So you have to pay with a credit or debit card. For those who only carry cash, Cedar Point has cash to car kiosk around the area so you can convert your cash into a prepaid debit card. This is just so that checking out is faster, safer, and secure. If you want to take a break from the rides, there's a petting zoo at Cedar Point as well. We got to see cows, camels, goats, swans, llamas, and more. You can also feed the animals, but that's an extra $5 if you want to. Now y'all know I gotta have me a drink. 
So I went to this trail and tavern place and they had a lot of interesting drinks to try. So I decided to get the frozen Jack and Coke, which was my first time having it. And surprisingly, it was really good. I definitely would get it again. Now this ride right here, the Steel Vengeance, was no joke. These wood rides hit different, and this was the longest time we ever had to wait for a ride. We waited for at least an hour, and this made us realize we should have bought the fast lane passes because it was so hot outside and just way too long of a wait. This ride that we just rode on, I, it Friends, did it for us. We're, we're done for the day. Everywhere. We're done for the day. Twirling, neck, like got whiplash out here. Like, Girl, my hair hitting the people in the back. Yeah, of me. Oh my, I'm just, I keep cussing. It, I'm done for the day. It's time to Even though it was a short trip, we had so much fun just getting away for some time. If you're interested in going to Cedar Point, definitely go. It's so much fun and so much to do there. And that's it for my mini vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more videos, please make sure to press that like and subscribe button. This is your girl Taylor, and I'll see you next time. Bye.